The uh, scope of our project includes a full rehabilitation of the Stone Arch Bridge in Minneapolis, which is a historic bridge and is 140 years old. And the reason that our project is happening now, as opposed to five years from now, is that we discovered some deficiencies during a recent underwater inspection. Uh, MnDOT decided that a full rehab of the bridge was warranted. Now we are in the process of finishing the design of that rehab project. To facilitate development, the team needed extensive information on the condition of the bridge due to its size and the significant masonry surface area. Traditional inspections involving pencil and paper would have been incredibly time consuming. They also would have lacked enough detail to safely complete the project. So the main challenge of the project or our biggest challenge was just the sheer scale of the bridge. It's a, a long bridge that crosses the Mississippi in downtown Minneapolis. And so there's a very large surface area of the, the masonry work. And so to capture that information using traditional methods is very difficult. So instead of a traditional game plan, Collins engineers, supported by Minnesota Department of Transportation, set out to use digital twins and the most advanced technologies available to bridge engineers as part of the project workflow, something considered unfathomable when the bridge was originally constructed. This workflow saved 20% of field time and significantly increased data quality. One of the significant parts was we were able to utilize that data through the Bentley and Microsoft HoloLens app so we could view the bridge in a mixed reality environment, which gives us a very good understanding and a sense of scale of the bridge that you can't normally get just through your computer. Changing the way they perform inspections, this digital workflow gives the team the ability to pinpoint repair areas to reduce construction risks. Because reality modeling provides a wealth of information, the team projects 10 to 15% savings in construction for the Minnesota Department of Transportation.